continue what we have started. Better days are coming. Adhering to the correct procedure for doning and doffing of PPE up to the last part will ensure our safety as healthcare professionals as well as keeping our patients safe, which is everyone's job. This is Doffing of PPE, the end game. How to safely take off personal protective equipment before leaving the patient's room. First, remove and discard your gloves. Gloves can be removed more than one technique. For the glove and glove technique, pinch the outside of the glove near the wrist. Pull downwards, pulling the glove inside out with your ungloved hand. Slide with your finger under the wrist of your remaining gloves. For the baking method, pinch the outside of the glove near the wrist. Using the finger, pull the glove inside out and over the fingers in thumbs to form a bake. With the big hand, pinch the opposite glove near the wrist and pull downwards, turning the glove inside out. Discard the gloves. Remove your both hand cap. Remove face shield. Remove the face shield by tilting your head slightly forward and pulling it over the head using the sides of the strap and supporting shield with your thumbs. Remove your gown. Untie all ties. Some gowns' ties can be broken rather than untied. In that instance, Break the ties gently, avoiding a forceful movement. Reach up to the shoulders and carefully pull or roll down the gown away from the body. Dispose the used gown. Remove shoe covers. You may now exit patient's room. Use paper towel or tissue paper to hold the doorknob when exiting patient's room to avoid infecting the object with microorganisms. Apply alcohol to your hands or wash your hands using soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Remove and discard the face mask. Carefully untie the strap and hook them from your ears and pull the mask away from your face without touching the outside of the mask. Lastly, once again, perform hand hygiene after removing the face mask. You have now completed the doffing procedure.